We're going to talk about how context clues help us as readers. Sometimes readers need to be like detectives. Readers use clues from both the text, the words, and pictures to understand an author's message. Context clues help readers learn new vocabulary. Readers use what they already know to figure out missing information. One way to practice that is to use a close activity. So that's what we're going to do today. Take a look at these sentences. We're going to use some of the words that we learned, the vocabulary we learned this week in our animals book to finish these sentences. Let's look at that first sentence. A blink can be heard making holes in forest trees with its beak. There are quite a few clues that we have in this sentence. So let's break that down. A blink can be heard making holes. So we can actually hear this animal making holes. Now you might look up at these choices up above and you might already know which of these words fits in the sentence. But I'm going to keep going because there are actually more clues for us and we can double check that our thinking is correct. So the next part says, in forest trees, which tells me that this animal must live in the forest. So now we're thinking about something that can make holes in trees and lives in a forest. When I look up here, I can already see that there are two that will not fit in the sentence. Sea turtle and starfish live in the ocean. So they can't possibly fit in the sentence where it says in forest trees. The last clue here says with its beak. When I think about an animal that has a beak, I think about a bird because a bird has a beak. That rules out the deer that also lives in the forest. So I can move my word woodpecker down into the sentence. And there we go. Let's reread to make sure that it makes sense. A woodpecker can be heard making holes in forest trees with its beak. All of those clues fit that word. Now, if I weren't sure about whether or not a woodpecker makes holes in trees, I still can use those other two parts of the sentence to figure that out. Let's move on to the next one. Blank grow antlers and live in the forest. So I can see two main clues here. Grow antlers. You may or may not know what antlers are, but antlers are the things that grow out of the head of an animal. And maybe you already know that. And then we have the second clue, live in the forest. Again, we just went through that. So we know that a sea turtle and a starfish do not live in a forest. And that will leave us with deer. Now, the nice thing is, if you did not know what an antler was before, you can look at the sentence and you can actually learn that word antler because you know that it will be something that a deer has. And if you can get that picture of the deer in your head and remember what a deer looks like, then you could likely figure out what antlers are just by reading that sentence and figuring out that that animal is a deer. Let's keep going. In the ocean, we already know we only have two animals left up here that live in the ocean. A blank uses flippers to gracefully swim through water. So we have a couple of clues, uses flippers and gracefully swim and then through water. We know that ocean is water, so that last clue doesn't tell us a lot about which animal. If you know what flippers are, then you might be able to pick which of these fits. If you're not sure what a flipper is, then that didn't really help you all that much. So we have to keep going. Gracefully swim. If you think about a starfish, does a starfish really swim? Do you see starfish gracefully swimming through water? I've never seen that but I have seen a sea turtle gracefully swim through water. And I know that a sea turtle has flippers, kind of like arms it uses to swim through the water. 
And our last one, oh, I'm sorry, let's reread our sentence. In the ocean, a sea turtle uses flippers to gracefully swim through water. Our last sentence says, a blank is an ocean animal that often has five arms. So we have a couple of clues here. An ocean animal, there's our first clue. And often has five arms is our last clue. Now a starfish does fit both of those clues. I still want to double check my last sentence even though I only had one left, just to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes up above. So let's reread. A starfish is an ocean animal that often has five arms. You are going to practice using context clues um, with the other animals that we learned in our animals book. So go ahead and check that out.